221 million people on the do not call list. But lots of them say they're still getting calls from telemarketers. Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts found out why. He's been on the national do not call list since it began. Hello. But like many people, Fred Park says somewhere along the line it stopped working. Alex from JDI, the tree service. The retired engineer gets at least two sales calls a day, most from local area codes. They are violating the law because they're calling my number, which is on the federal do not call list. Well, not exactly, because many of his calls are coming from local numbers. Turns out they may not actually be illegal. The do not call registry uh, only applies to phone calls that travel between states. The FTC's Vikram Bandy says the federal law only applies to interstate commerce, so they generally can't go after telemarketers calling from within your own state. And as for those violating federal law? We get several hundred thousand complaints per month, and obviously we do not have the resources to investigate each of those complaints individually. In fact, it's only taken action against 600 illegal telemarketers since the list's inception in 2003. Why even bother to have a do not call list if, quite frankly, it doesn't work? I, I take issue with your premise that it doesn't work. So if you didn't have a do not call list, what you would see is you'd probably see even more calls coming into consumers. And Bandy says while his agency does go after the worst offenders, telemarketers are using technologies like spoofing and voice over internet protocols that allow them to make millions of calls cheaply and without leaving a trail. So instead of law enforcing their way to a telemarketer-free society, the FTC is getting creative, holding contests for the best technology to combat telemarketers. Technology that will operate like a spam filter for the phone. And Fred Parks, for one, can't wait. Now, the FTC says it's up to each state's attorney general to go after telemarketers within their state, but Kamala Harris's office admits it's not a high priority here. The best way to stop calls, hang up. <laughs> but you can pick up the phone call. You know, you also don't want to press the button when they say press one right. to opt That's out. All that does is let them know that you are a valid phone number with mm -hmm. someone there to answer. Yeah. So frustrating. It is frustrating. Keeps ringing and ringing and ringing. Exactly. All right, Julie, thanks. We'll be right back.